Charming. Hey, I like that. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how you doing? Come on, come in now. Yeah, sit down, what do you want? Oh, this, this place really smells. Ah, uh, well, she wear like f***ing dung beetles and you roll the poo around, f*** knows what's for. Oh, really? If you want some, you want some poo? Um, uh, uh, Alright, get your f***ing ass in there. There's these f***ing cows. Get them in there, get them to crap, and I'll make you a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. You still here? F*** that. Oh, Johnny. God, such a potty mouth. What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Last time on Conker's Bad Fur Day, we helped King B get lucky to help him cheat on his wife more. Because it's the American way. And in this episode, we're going to be heading into the Poo Shack. And we don't know why. Maybe because it's open. Anyway, there's some money up there, but we can't get it yet. And, um... This place is really disgusting. I can't believe Rare actually thought this was a good idea. I mean, it's a hilarious idea, don't get me wrong. But... I just want to know what was going on in their heads. Now, up here we're going to fight our first sub-boss out of two. Yeah, very exciting. Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello. Yeah, you. Uh, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> friendly type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... <coughs> oh. <coughs> red. Red. I don't like red. <coughs> I hate red. Go away. Whoa. Take it, he doesn't like red. What? I don't see anything red around. Oh. Here we go again. Mwah, mwah, mwah. There is the bull, or bugger lugs as he's known around the barnyard, but we're not going to fight him yet. There's actually some setup before we actually have to fight him, and we don't actually fight him. We do not kill him. Because we wouldn't do that to an animal, right? Uh, who do I care? Nobody in PETA watches this. Now, um, right here is actually kind of a difficult segment to get through, because these poo balls... If they hit you once, at any point as you're trying to scale this this building, I guess, they will knock you all the way to the bottom. And I just narrowly missed having to do all of that again, because if they hit you once, even if you're at the tip top where I almost got hit there, you will fall and basically slide all the way down the roof and all the way down to the bottom, only losing one piece of health. It's crazy, it's annoying. I'm glad I didn't get hit. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is going to get the screaming squit. Hmm. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bowl. Yes, I think I get it. Conker knows how to put the math together. And also, you may have noticed that the, uh, the prune juice is just a recolor of the poo. Well, I guess it does make you shitty. And be careful of these, uh, small jumps. And- Oh, come on! I got hit by that! I was in the water! Yeah, you really gotta be careful about how far you can fall, because just the smallest little fall can take off a piece of chocolate. Luckily, we have respawning chocolate here. It'll respawn after 20 seconds. So, if you're ever in need of health, just wait around. Alright, the bull. Because... All bulls are colorblind and can only see red. He's going to go straight for you. Luckily, you can't slow down. Ah, a cow. Now that could be useful. Right. This looks like it needs a little bit more hands-on control. He's a bit of a wild one. That time again, is it? Oh, I see Bugalugs is out here again. Oh, well. That's a nice little patch. I think a little bit of grass. Move. Need to get over there somehow. Hmm. This is the most straightforward sub boss you can get. It basically spells it out for you. All you have to do is run him towards this giant target. Boom! Look at that. Now, controlling the bull. 
You, you do get to control him, obviously, and he's a little hard to control. I'll explain in a bit. Stop your nonsense, young man. Goodness me. I've quite lost my appetite now. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for a little meander over here. Hmm. Actually, I feel a bit thirsty. A nice little beverage should wash this tasty grass down lovely like. This looks quite nice. Looks to be cranberry flavoured. Lovely. It's a trap! Hmm, <laughs> tastes a bit hot. Oh, I'll have some more. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Her stomach's no. in her udder. I wonder if I can actually show this on YouTube. Ooh. Ooh. Suppose oh, you could see. call this a this YouTube poop. I am so oh, sorry. You never know. Looks like he's just about ready to go. So clearly after taking the biggest shit of your life, what's the logical explanation? Kill her! Yes, we must kill the cow. The poo-making machines that they are, they must die. Now as you saw there, I got thrown off the back of the bowl. If you go anywhere near the perimeter of the little arena here, you will get flung, and even if you fall in the water, you will lose a piece of chocolate. So, you really can't avoid being hurt if you go near the edges there. And if you really want to cheap out this really simple sub-boss, just stand on top of the target. He'll eventually get there. It takes a long time. He eventually gets there. Oh, finally. Alright. He's ready to go. Time to kill her! PETA'S GOT DOES IT ON ME! There you go, just two more times and you've beaten this boss. Now, I'm actually not gonna speed this up because I do have a couple things to talk about. First of all, I didn't explain how to ride the bull. Riding the bull actually has really difficult controls. He thrashes around like a bull and they really got that down. So, if, you, if he's moving to the left, you have to try your best to steer him in the direction you want. Now, you can see I've kind of got it down pat. It's, it is difficult, he is thrashing around and I have to move it in opposite directions just to stay straight. But, it, it can be done, and pressing B does the charge, and if you do charge, be sure that you hit something. Because if you charge at nothing and you hit on that perimeter, you're going to get flung off and you're going to have to get him all over again. For example... I could have sworn the cow was there already. Never mind. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me! Pathetic bull. You'll never get me up here! Such... I mean... Okay. I know you kind of have something to break up the monotony of just running around collecting money and everything. And I guess this sub-boss... And by the way, Peter POWER! And you gotta have something to break up all the monotony, so... I, I guess this is a nice little diversion. I mean, I don't know how you could have done it any differently. If you want your game to go to the shitter, this is the easiest way. I'm sorry, I will never make a joke like that ever again in this video. You already had enough of it in the last one. Uh, something about this boss also, the cows, they go for the regular video game theme of one, two, three hits. So the first cow only took one hit, the second cow took two, and this one's gonna take three. In Live and Reloaded they changed this, but um... <laughs> we'll explain that when we actually get to it. This actually does make it a very fine line of difficulty because even though you don't actually have to fight the bull, it makes it more difficult that if you go too far, 
on the edges, you get flung off and you get hurt. He's also really hard to control. Actually, if you start to hear him, like, growl a bit more, like, howl, he'll get his, uh, I guess you could say the resistance for the controls get a lot weaker. So the more he turns to the left, he turns to the left a lot more. So he gets a lot more difficult to control. So you, you just got to be careful and be listening if he gets a lot harder to control. And there we go. Boss fight done. Just to the cows! Glad for my such a fact. We're gonna take you to McDonald's! Hmm. Seems to be filled up with poo. <sighs> that should do it. I told you I wouldn't make another one, but down the poop chute! That's the last one, I swear. Alright. Now, in here... The entire place is filled up with... I, I guess, diarrhea? I, I don't know. You can find a squirrel tail, and uh, I was right. From the last episode, it always resets your tails to two. Now, in here, the camera kind of gets a little weird, a little close, a little claustrophobic, but uh, over here, get some confidence pills. Confidence pills. And now, you can dive underwater. Ah, yeah. Hey, I feel a lot more confident. Yeah, don't need these anymore. I think I'm a lot more confident. Then I Basic controls. Hmm. If you press A to jump out of the water and press A again, you'll dive right in. Uh, the water controls are actually pretty good, considering you only have one stick to deal with. You hold B and you can move in any direction that you move the stick, and this is always inverted controls. I don't think you can change them. But, you know, hold up to go down, down to go up. It's like the Mario 64, except you can't use extra strokes. You're just going straight down. And uh, also, your breath meter there, Conker's face, you barely get any time to swim underwater. Like, see, I'm already about to gasp for breath. You barely get any time to go swimming. And, uh... You don't have a lot of swimming sections. There's one major one after this. And it is so annoying because you run out of breath so quickly. Anyway, give me my money. So there we go. We got our money. Got our poo. And, um... Oh, look. There's the boss. Haha, <laughs> sucker! And, uh, here's what doesn't make sense. We're back in the poo shack. So, going down makes us come out of the roof. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, there it is. Over there. Big ball of poo. Oh, thanks. Just, you're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, thanks. You actually have two choices here now. You can go up Poo Mountain or that little section to the right. And it's to two totally different parts of the game. But we actually need to go to the right. Or else you're going to get stuck later and I'll explain how to do that. So, we'll make that seamless transition over to Live and Reloaded. See some of the differences. Let's go! Now. Now. 